I got the J-Rail off of the 1957 Westerner camper trailer. It's mostly good. I'll put it on top of the woodshed roof to get it out of the way. And there's like almost no putty tape underneath the J-Rail. Of course, after more than 60 years, it certainly could use some. The task today <sighs> See that opaque clearish material is two part epoxy adhesive. Someone went and adhesive did the vent not only onto the skin of the roof, but also the actual frame itself. Which means the frame for the vent has to come out, as well as the vent and the skin around it. Nobody should be using two-part epoxy adhesive to do this. It's lazy. It's a incomplete fix. Plus, the next person to come around to work on the project has to now deal with that. I will deal with it. with an angle grinder and abrasive disc. I know of no other way. It means I have to rebuild the frame for the vent box. Here is the vent box. <sighs> Look at this adhesive, two-part epoxy adhesive, glued to the wood. I very much wanted to keep the wood because it was good. The wood was perfectly fine. It's good for another 30 years, but some idiot or some clever person glued it. If you're going to work on something, it should be done right. So I'll have to replace the frame around the vent box, as well as the skin and the roofing. <laughs> 